got a southern comfort here. I made some homemade bone meal and I just made a video onto it. And now I'm out into the greenhouse and I want to show you how I apply my homemade bone meal into the video. I explained that I will be using this bone meal into the greenhouse and how I'm going to be applying this bone meal so that predators or dogs or cats, if they smell the little uh, bit of meat smell or cooking smell, then what I'm going to be using is going to help cover up that smell. One of the things I want to do is, since I made this homemade bone meal, is go ahead and apply it to the garden, apply it to my greenhouse, because it is homemade. It doesn't have any chemicals in it, no preservatives, no bleach, no nothing into it. So we definitely want to go ahead and get our organic bone meal into the raised bed. So let's take a look. Okay, so here is the raised bed into the greenhouse. And these are my cabbages here. And so what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to take my bone meal out. Um, I blended it up with a blender. It still has a little pieces of bone into it, which will deteriorate. I could have chopped it a little bit finer. Um, one of the things I do express is keeping a lid over this because it doesn't have any preservatives into it. And so all I'm going to be doing is make sure these little, if there's any little light little balls or anything from mixing it up is to make sure it's just kind of crumbled up. As you can tell, it's fine. And then all I'm going to be doing is just sprinkling it around my plants. I see a weed and I got to get it. So I'm going to sprinkle it around because this is going to help amend the soil. I'm going to sprinkle it around the plants. Phosphorus is good for the roots. It's going to have a little bit of calcium into it, uh, a, a little bit of nitrogen, but a whole lot of phosphorus. So I'm just going to sprinkle this around, and then I'm put it to the other beds here. So my next step is and cover this up because the humidity early in the morning, the moisture. Get it back on here. Well, anyways, let me put it down because I'm fixing to put it out anyhow. So I have lime here garden lime and i'm just going this is going to help this is going to help with the uh soil also it'll help with the ph it help these plants and so what i'm just all i'm doing is, is sprinkling this over this bone mill It gets on my plants, it's not going to hurt anything. Move it here. Okay, so my next thing is that since I've got the bone mill down, the garden lime down, I'm just going to take my little uh, cultivator here and I'm just going to mix it into the soil. One of the things I do into the greenhouse is to keep this soil kind of uh, irrigated and mixed up because it helps keep the weeds out. And when I'm watering it helps, you know, it will eventually take and uh, compact the soil, which is not what I want. So once I got this work into the soil, all I'm going to do then is just water it. Now, I always look at my soil and see if it needs to be watered. Right now it is heading to that stage that it needs to be watered. This is my soil that I have made and uh, it does have some cow manure into it. It has been amended. It has uh, different varieties of fertilizer into this uh, soil right here. But I have made this soil from um, a pile brush of limbs and um, you know brush like that just pushed up into a pile with the tractor and it deteriorated and then when these beds go down then I go get a bucket load and I fill my beds up. Of course I would definitely have to amend it. So this bone meal here and this lime is going to continue to amend this bed. So now all I got to do is water this and uh, it's going to be like 71 degrees here today 
and I always let my beds kind of dry out some. I don't keep them so saturated, but it is definitely time to give them some water. It's a good time to put this bone meal down. It's a good time to put this lime down, and it's a good time to water. So I hope that you found this video informative. I watched that video on how I made this bone meal. Um, it's really simple and easy, no waste, and I really do love it, especially, especially with the expense of bone meal these days. Guys, thank you so much. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, and I'll see you on to the next video.